Hello! Today we are going to take a look at an example review about the haunting of Bly Manor. This review is called The Haunting of Bly Manor, a very different follow-up to Hill House. Now as we look at this review, I want you to think about how does the author feel about this show. I'm going to read the first two paragraphs and then we're going to think about what the author wrote. Here it goes. If you're still traumatized by Netflix series The Haunting of Hill House, prepare to sink into a dark hole all over again. Mike Flanagan follows his first entry into the horror anthology with The Haunting of Bly Manor, a gothic romance-influenced ghost story based on Henry James' novella The Turn of the Screw and streaming now. Taking an 80s setting and a few of the same cast members from Hill House, Flanagan unfolds another beautiful tragedy with meticulous attention to detail and characters more haunted than the house. It's perfect for Halloween viewing. Now the first thing that I want you all to notice is the first line of the review. If I highlight that line and just look at it, I want you to see if you can tell how the author is feeling about The Haunting of Bly Manor. It says, if you're still traumatized by the Netflix series The Haunting of Hill House, prepare to sink into a dark hole all over again. Now, to me, this shows that the author is impressed. It's kind of giving us some background information and saying, if you liked the first one of these shows, you are going to like it again. But he uses the words sink into a dark hole all over again, which is kind of a cool way to write. As you look over this, what words stand out to you that let you know the author, let you know how the author is feeling about this? Some words that stand out to me are beautiful tragedy and meticulous attention to detail. These words and phrases stand out to me because the author is telling me positive things about this show, which makes me think he's got a positive opinion about it. Let's look at the last line. It's perfect for Halloween viewing. How does that last line express what the author feels about this show? Now, if we think about the moves that the author of this uh, review made in writing it, and we think about our own review writing, this is one move that I want you to keep in mind. It says the author begins with a compelling opinion of the show or product. When you write your review, you may be talking about a show, you may be talking about a product, but one of the moves that I want to make sure that you, you write is beginning with a compelling opinion. Show the reader exactly how you feel at the beginning of your writing. That's how a, writing, a review should work.